Interplex is the leading supplier of natural gas compression and gas processing modules uh, worldwide. Uh, we, we engineer, fabricate, and, uh, and also service our equipment. From a throughput perspective, um, we were falling behind. So we found ourselves as, as the, the fabricator of this equipment outsourcing this into the local market, which is again saturated with work from the oil sands. So very expensive, very long lead times. We were losing control of our quality, we were losing control of our projects, we were losing control of our schedules. And uh, this, we saw this as a way to bring this back in-house and be back in control. And what this does is it kind of moves us you know, 30 years into the future. As we kind of looked at the products uh, available to us in the marketplace, uh, one thing that, that we instantly decided is that we had to go with a chuck-driven machine. So we know that it's going to be accurate 100% of the time was one of the major features. The fact that the bed was expandable was also very important and uh, the multiple cutting heads uh, was, was very attractive to us as well. Within a few days the machine was together and they were cut on day four. So we, we, were, we, were trying to, we were trying to hire the install. <laughs> he was that impressive. The understanding from the engineering group and the design group was uh, incredibly good uh, by the time they left. And with the 24 hour support, any issues is a phone call or an email away. Within about two weeks of the machine running, these experienced guys that were dead against the machine will only use the machine. They don't even want to cut it by hand anymore. So what's happening now is we used to have our repads rolled plate, bought and rolled and cut the suit. So our schedule, our cost, everything goes up, our duration goes up. That's all being done on the machine now. We anticipated we could do these items. We just didn't think it may be that efficient and be able to do it this fast. We thought it would be a learning curve for just the pressure vessels. But like I say, within a few weeks already, everyone's head returned to see what can we do next. Sort of the mandate in our design group is avoid hillside holes, elliptical holes, right? They're difficult to cut, they're difficult to fit, and then the accuracy of the piping, etc., associated with that is, is, is troubling, right? Uh, now those, those things are no longer off limits. Right. And so that's helped us dramatically in terms of our, our layouts and the flexibility of where we can run our pipe, etc. So it's helped clean up a lot of our layouts and produce a better quality product at the end of the day. It's changed the whole outlook of this machine and, and how guys think. Before, you only had one way, it was to do it by hand. You know, uh, I would say off the cuff that this replaces, you know, probably six people, you know, in our facility, right? Again, hard people to recruit, hard people to find, and good quality ones, right? And command at high price. But from that, that perspective, that represents about, you know, a 25-30% of our capacity. Right, so moving them off of just pure layouts and cutting and moving them to what they are really good at, fitting and welding and welding this stuff out, um, is, represents about a 25-30% you know, uh, increase in our population of people that are actually welding out this equipment. It's also saving on the amount of consumables, grinding discs, how much we have to grind. After a manual cutting process, you have to grind clean before you fit a nozzle in. Now the process is just give it a quick buff and you set it in. With the right exact angle every time, so with less welding time, less consumables, you know, it's not just the cutting process, it's saving down the, down the road. So we're handling very large very large shells, heavy shells, long lengths, and now we're not having guys stand on ladders and hang over the edges, try to cut this stuff manually. So it's handled very safely. It's managed very safely on rollers and a chuck. And so in my perspective, the potential for uh, injury, you know, in this part of our process has been reduced dramatically. I uh, sped up everything, like laying out, Cutting the holes, cleaning them, there's virtually no cleanup now. Uh, the holes are perfectly with a nice root gap and everything. The welders are happier. Uh, frees up more time for the fitters to start fitting the nozzles in the cans, fit flanges to the pipe. It's running really good, very happy with it. So that, this is where we are completion of our semi line. The vessels come down here upon completion for hydro testing. You'll see a larger vessel here that was cut all in one piece. In the profiler, it would have been roughly 40 50 hours in the past, and the machine cut that in under four hours. Business is around doing compression, but also a process, right? But we'll have small pulsation bottles or piping components to very, very large process vessels or tanks and horizontal uh, bullets, right? So, uh, very, very diverse for us in that respect. So, this is a process plant that we're doing for one of our customers, Shell. You can see the numerous vessels on this unit. And we've done them all with our new pipe profiler. Saved lots of hours doing it that way. When you're walking customers through the facility, you know, this has become kind of the darling of the, uh, of the shop tour, right? But the reality of it is you earn a lot of confidence with a customer. When they see the level of quality 
coming out of that and off the machine to see the, the details of the cut are so accurate and so clean coming off of there. Uh, the, the confidence you know, in us as a company uh, goes up dramatically as well. It's changed the way we look at business for sure. From, from a, a shop laborer level to the president of the company, it's really changed the way we look at business. We, we really are eager to do more than uh, going forward here, right? We have a motto in the shop and it's safety protects people, quality protects jobs. And really that, that the machine incorporates both. It really does, right? You get both aspects and, and that's what Interflex wants to see and our customers want to see.